The countdown has begun, the champion wrote in a column for Vogue, not guaranteeing but hinting that her last Grand Slam may well be the US Open. And when asked what next at a press conference in Toronto... Freedom. Yeah. I love playing, though. It's, it's like, it's amazing, but, you know, it's like, I can't do this forever. A month before her 41st birthday, at 23 singles titles, though, the champion is not ruling out one more. Her origin story includes her sister, Venus, a seven-time Grand Slam winner and often Serena's opponent, alongside whom she has also won 14 Grand Slam doubles titles. From the age of four, the sisters were homeschooled and coached by their father. And since winning her first Grand Slam at 17, she is hailed as one of the greatest players of all time. For Williams, it has always been the winning, not the taking part, that counts. I love the challenge and I love holding up trophies. And so I guess when, if ever I feel that I can't do that, then maybe I won't play anymore. An attitude that has twice won her the Serena Slam, all four Grand Slam championships in the same year. Often denouncing racism and misogyny in sport, Williams has come to dominate a game long associated with the white, middle and upper class. Or, as Wimbledon put it, some play the game, others change it. When she announced her pregnancy in 2017, she took a brief maternity leave. Having won the Australian Open two months pregnant, she would soon return to the top ten. Now, though, she wants to make her four-year-old daughter a big sister and doesn't want to be pregnant again as a professional athlete. Her words resonated with many. She never wanted to choose between tennis and her family and wouldn't have to if she were a man. But the physical labour of expanding a family makes it this way.